What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to zoom in and out slowly on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 and 13. Now, yes, I have made this tutorial before, but people did not follow and they got stuck with it. So in this video, I hope to explain it a bit more better because I watched a video back and I did see I didn't explain some things properly. So as always, just open up Sony Vegas and then go ahead and get some footage. So I'm dragging this in here and I am going to shorten it down. Now, remember, we're zooming in slowly. Okay, so... 8 seconds clip, we'll just shorten it down to 8 seconds. So here we go straight away. I'm just going to remove the audio. It doesn't really matter. So you can keep yours there. So what you need to do, you need to click event, pan and crop. And now mine comes up here. Yours might come out in a pop-up window like this. But doesn't matter. So you can see, if yours comes up like mine and it doesn't show the thing here, what you need to do is click it again. So now you have the keyframe bar. Now, what you need to do, you need to check this right here. You can see sync cursor. So what that means, if we go here, it also moves along here as well. So let's say, for example, we want to zoom into this right here, BVB badge. And if we go to the end of the clip, which is there, right there, what we want to do just click here and then use the mouse wheel and move it back or you can just use the magnifying glass which is right here so once you can see everything here you want to make sure this is checked lock aspect ratio is checked and you want to make sure size about scale the size about center is checked and what you want to do now make sure this is checked as well and this one you just want to grab it and go in to the specific part where you want it to zoom into. So I'm zooming it into the badge right here. And like that. And just center it. So you can move it with the arrows on your keyboard as well. So that's about center right there. And now, if we go to the end, you can see it's, it'll be full screen. So we are actually done. If we press the play button, you can see that is zooming in. Now, if you want it to zoom in even slower, go to the end, hold control, and stretch it out as much as you want. There is a limit, so you can see it was 8 seconds clip, we are now on 35 seconds clip. So there's a limit there, about 25 seconds I think. And yeah, so you can see I've stretched it up a bit. So if we play back from the start again, you can see it is now moving in even slower, it's not choppy, it's all smooth and it's still zooming in nice and slow. So I'll just speed it up a bit and that is it. If you want it to zoom in slow and then go back to the original size after, what you can do is hold control and just stretch it out again. Now about there. So, if we drag this, this is the keyframe that we made it be zoomed into. So, drag it around there. Now, what we can do is go here and press S. This bit lits the clip. And with the right one, click the event pattern crop. Right click here and click restore. Now, if we play through it, you can see it's going to zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, and then it should pop back up like that. Now, if you want it to stay zoomed in for like a second or something, go to the event pattern crop on this specific clip again and just drag it back about there. So now if we play for it, it should just stop on it for a second. Yep, like that. Now you can see it was zoomed in pretty fast, so we'll just hold control and drag it out a bit. So let's see this now. Nice and slow, smooth, nothing messing it up or anything. It is all smooth. Pauses here, and then of course if we just move it up here, boom, we're now back to normal. And that is basically it. 
It's really easy. Be sure to listen up carefully and follow the instructions slowly because it's a really easy process. You just got to get your head around it. And yeah, tomorrow I will be showing you how to make it zoom in fast. If you've watched this video and understood it, then you should be able to work it out yourself, but I will show it you either way. And also tomorrow I have my third channel starting up. It is known as CS Plays. And, oh, that's what you're definitely going to see. Shall I show you something else? Nah, I've got loads of stuff recorded in there. And that is what's going to be on CS Plays. The channel is actually up now. So you can go ahead and subscribe to that, I'll really appreciate it. And basically on that channel, I'm going to be playing random games from PC and Xbox One. If you would like to request any games on PC, or suggest any games, then please leave them in the comments below. And Xbox One games, if you want to suggest any of them, then please leave them in the comments below as well. And yeah, it's been Casual Savage here, be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page as both gaming news and technology news daily. And be sure to check out my gaming channel where I post daily. And finally, be sure to add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. See, so yeah, it's been Casual Savage. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, rate, and post.